All right, holiday shopping really starting to ramp up. So all this week, we want to highlight shops across Connecticut that are making an impact. That's with our holiday gift guide. Keith McGilvery is taking us to places that will help you cross some items off your list while helping others at the same time. And this morning, he's at Reread Books. Keith, good morning. Tim, good morning. Happy holidays. They are ready to celebrate the season here at Reread Books. It is a great spot. And each day this week, to your point, we are visiting a different location where, yes, you could get some of your holiday shopping done, but also hopefully help out different vulnerable portions of our population. Hope you're a rock star. This is your baby here. Tell folks a little bit about what Reread Books is all about. Well, we started in November of 2020, right in the midst of the COVID pandemic. And we take young adults mostly and train them to work within the community. And they learn the register, alphabetizing, working with customers. And it's been very successful. And Bobby, you're a rock star. You are training here, my friend. Tell folks what you love about coming here each day. I love we read books because I do the register. And uh, I like seeing all the familiar people at the bookstore shopping around with their kids. And uh, we have a lot of um, activities this year coming up in December. Uh, please come on out and uh, support us on Saturday, 4 to 8. Uh, you are a perfect spokesperson for this job. People busy at work this morning hope a, a lot of competition for that holiday dollar. What is the impact of somebody spending that dollar in a shop like yours? Because you get a lot for your dollar here. The average fiction book is about $5 and paperbacks are $2. So, I mean, you can really knock off your whole list right here for 20 bucks. So not only are you in for a bargain, but speak to speak to what this place means to the folks you serve. Um, I think it's like a, a very relaxed place for them. I think they feel very comfortable working here. Um, they get to see so many familiar faces in town and just really be a part of the community. And for somebody of a varying ability to find meaningful employment or training, what is the power that that, that, that has? Um, it's huge. A lot of our associates here have gone on to work at like CVS and other places. So they're really kind of learning customer service and going out and, and finding, you know, employment. All right, Bobby, what do you think? Somebody is going to come in here. They're going to do some holiday shopping. What, what's your best advice to them? What should they be on the lookout for? Uh, our Reese and our, all of our books. Um, our books are $5 down to 50 cents. And, uh, we're having our Reese auction uh, Saturday, 4 to 8, and I don't know what their prices are, but uh, I'm sure they're low. <laughs> I'm sure they are as well. Listen, you are such a great spokesperson. You're taking a look at some of these wreaths. More on this wreath yeah. auction coming up in our next hour, so you want to stick around from that. Some great uh, students from Quinnipiac University here as well. Part of this mission, everyone's hiding behind the shelves this morning. Hopefully they're getting work done. It is good stuff. Just day one of our holiday gift guide as we look to make an impact across Connecticut throughout the season. Back to you guys. Glad you've gone back there, too, because that's not the first time mm -hmm. he's been to reread books. And uh, yeah, that's <laughs> it's, awesome. been, it's a yeah, good sure. time. Books make a great present, too. Agree. Yeah, it doesn't always have to be Kindle anymore. Like exactly. Go a good old fashioned yeah. book. There's Read. nothing like it, right?